Hey guys, it's Jay here again with FindYourCrazy.org. Uh, we're a full-time family of nine living in our fifth wheel camper as we travel the country to visit every national park. Uh, today is another fix-it video, our upgrade video here in our camper as we're living in it full-time. Uh, we're just finding little things and big things that we want to change out. Uh, and so today there's another one here in the kitchen. Uh, as we have been living in our camper, uh, one of the biggest, hardest for my wife, actually, step backs uh, has been dishes uh, going back to hand washing dishes uh, for a large family in a very small sink. Uh, we joke that it's kind of like stepping back into college life. Uh, and so as we've been doing that, we figured out that the faucet that was here in the camper already uh, is really just not helpful for that. We really that uh, where the, the actual faucet will come out, uh, gooseneck out, and she can use it as a sprayer and move it around. Uh, you can see this is the one that's here now, um, and it's a, it's fine, uh, just basic hot, cold, uh, and moving back and forth, but it doesn't have that ability to, to come out. So that's what we're gonna change out today. Uh, got online on Amazon and found uh, a faucet that met uh, the needs that my wife wanted, that was decently priced, uh, and uh, fit what we were looking for here in the camper. I uh, figured out that most household uh, ones will fit into uh, your RV with just one small tweak. Uh, so this one, I'll put the link to it below. Again, we got it off of Amazon. Uh, I think the name brand is actually super generic Chinese made faucet. Just kidding. Uh, the name brand on this one is Peppermint, uh, but again, it's really super generic Chinese faucet. Uh, so here is uh, what is inside of the box some packing material instructions uh, it's got the plate uh, and this replaces the plate that's there and uh, obviously on the sink that we have now it's got the faucet and the hot and cold and this just covers those holes up we've got uh, a hot and cold uh, supply line uh, and these connect to the faucet uh, to the connections that are there and then to your water line uh, in your camper We've got the actual faucet, and so this is obviously the reason that we got this thing, uh, because that will go in, um, and she can take it out and spray it. Uh, and so you can see, pretty pretty basic, uh, one lever control. Uh, this is the hose, basically, for this. Uh, and then you've got uh, three connections down at the bottom. Uh, so you're gonna have your hot line in, your cold line in, uh, and then this other one is actually the supply line that's back from uh, the controls back to it and so this actually connects here uh, to go back up to the faucet. Uh, you've got the, uh, this is the connector that screws onto the bottom that holds everything together. And then you've got the gravity ball, which is actually a lot less impressive uh, than it sounds. This is the weight that goes on uh, the bottom that keeps pulls the faucet back into its place. Uh, after that, you've just got a couple of uh, adapters and extra O-rings that are in here, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so really, everything uh, is inside the box you need, except for one piece. So you can see that the supply lines that come, uh, you have to use these supply lines because of the connector uh, that's on the bottom here. Uh, and that gives you that flex that you need down there. Uh, well, they come with an adapter. Uh, so this is a 3-8 that's on it and then connects up to uh, a half uh, with the adapter. However, uh, what's already under your sink, and I obviously can't show you, but you can see here in this picture, uh, what's under your sink is already a uh, female half. And so you can't put a female to female. Uh, and so I just went to uh, Home Depot and picked up two uh, of these little adapters uh, that are male to male, uh, half three eighths. And so it's going to go into here like so. And then you can pretend that this is the end of the supply line that's already under my sink. We'll go on this side and then I'm connected. And then just some thread tape uh, to make sure everything's uh, watertight. 
Uh, so there it is, uh, all the pieces, uh, and now uh, we'll change out the faucet. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the water off. Uh, so that we can disconnect everything, hook up the new faucet without making a big old mess. Uh, so every great project needs a great leader, but it also needs da -da, a great assistant. So this is my son Christopher, he's going to be my great assistant. So he's going to run outside and turn off the water uh, at the spigot. So go turn off the water. So you can turn the water faucet on, uh, he's going to go out and turn it off. Even after it's off, you want to let it run for a second until all the pressure's off. Uh, there'll definitely be a little bit of water still left in the line, so when you unhook it, have a little towel or a little bucket uh, to pour everything down into. Uh, just, again, less mess you can make underneath the batter. All right, so he's got the water off. We can see it's down to a drizzle, and now we'll go under the sink. All right, so the first thing that we have to do here under the sink is, uh, now that we got the pressure off, we've just got to unscrew the hot and cold water lines. Now that we got those out of the way, we have to unscrew uh, the little plastic nuts uh, that hold the old faucet on, and it's just one on each side. Two nuts off, it's that easy. The old one just lifts out, uh, and there we go. Uh, one out and one to go in. Now, the difference in the old one and the new one is the old one has the two lines that go down. The new one just has the one. As you can tell, uh, it covers up the two, but I have to drill a single center uh, to be able to put this one in. I will recommend you not tell your wife about this. My wife tends to get super nervous anytime that I'm drilling a hole anywhere in the camper, whether it's outside for a camera, inside, whatever. Uh, so it's better just to do it uh, and ask for forgiveness later rather than permission. Uh, but you're just going to want one single hole right through the middle. So you want to mark the center of that and then you're ready to go. Now that we've got our hole drilled, uh, we're gonna get ready to put our faucet through. But first, we're gonna add our hot and cold supply lines, uh, and they just screw right in the bottom. The red, the hot, the blue, the cold, and H and C are already marked uh, on the bow. Next is the line that runs from here back out to once the hot and cold are mixed and they come back through here and then through this line. So we're going to add this to next. All right, now we're ready to thread everything through uh, the hole, uh, screw it on from the bottom and then we can connect our water lines. Oh, 
right, now we're gonna go back underneath, uh, thread everything through this, uh, and this tightens on to the underside of this to hold everything tight. All right, now we're gonna connect the hot and cold lines together using these little adapters. Alright, so that gets all the connections done underneath. Uh, a little bit of tape, thread, uh, thread tape, uh, connecting them all together, tighten them down. Uh, and so now we're ready to do the last couple of steps. First, we're going to install the gravity ball uh, at the bottom of the sink just to keep the uh, line pulled back in. Um, and it just clips open, snaps on. So we'll snap that on, and then it'll be time to uh, send my trusty assistant back outside to turn on the water, and we'll see if we've got any leaks. All right, everything's hooked up. Time for the test. Okay. And hot water. And there you go. All right, we're about a week and a half uh, after the initial install of the faucet and we are gonna have to come back and make one uh, adjustment. We've got a small leak up under the counter uh, and when a, it was very widespread, kind of moving around and at first I thought maybe it was uh, one of the connections so I tightened all those, checked those and couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, and we finally figured out that it is actually coming from the counter top. Um, so let me show you. All right, so what we figured out was happening was right up under here, this plate, water was getting in, uh, which wouldn't normally be a problem because we just have this one center hole right here where all the pipes run through, uh, and that's got a, a ring at the top and it, and it seals it. But the problem is because we replaced a traditional faucet uh, that had holes here and here as well, well, those holes are still up underneath there. So the water was getting up underneath and then falling through those holes. So once we got the leak identified, pretty simple. Uh, we're just gonna take some transparent um, caulk, some sealant, uh, and put a little bead uh, right around the bottom of that, and then we'll be done.
All right, uh, so we did it. We got everything changed out. It really wasn't that bad. Uh, it took us even with filming probably uh, an hour. You could probably do it uh, without filming uh, in probably 30, 45 minutes. It's that easy uh, and we'll make our wife happy. Uh, so make sure you get all the stuff. Make sure you get a great assistant uh, and then uh, that's all you need. So be sure to subscribe. You can follow our family's adventure across the country uh, at all the national parks, all living in this little RV. Uh, or you can look for some of the other upgrade videos that we do. So don't miss a thing. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time on Find Your Crazy.